Hey Mustangs, we're your hosts, Mariah Casa and Ronnie Lynn Broderick. Welcome to the first episode of Season 1 of K-Rod. Filming from the Rodriguez Broadcast Room. Let's get into the news for the start of the year. This year we have tons of new teachers starting at Rodriguez. Some of them are new faces and some of them are returning substitute teachers taking on permanent positions. Let's take a moment to introduce and welcome our new teachers. First up, we have Miss Paris teaching English 11, Theater 1, and Theaters 2 slash 3. Then we have Miss Phelps teaching Spanish 1, Spanish 2, Spanish 3, and the Girls Water Polo Coach. Mr. Biner teaching Abbott, Math 1, and Math 2, and is a football coach. Miss Harrison teaching Math 1 and Math 2. Mr. Robbins teaching Special Ed. Miss Cordes teaching PE grades 9 and 10. Miss Trust teaching Anatomy and Physiology and 9th grade Biology. Mr. Wilson teaching Biotech and Biology. Miss Larson teaching Art 1 and Ceramics. And Miss Pratt, the new school librarian. Some other new things we have going around the school recently are the installation of the new solar panels and the Tesla batteries. These solar panels will bring our school closer to a greener future and make us more self-sustainable. We also have the upcoming election. Make sure to cast your vote. Well, that's it for general news. Now let's go to Rebecca for weather. Hey Mustangs, we're about a month and a half past our summer break and into our 2017-2018 school year. As we ease back into our academics, the weather is gradually cooling down. This year, the early fall week brings us a cool weather ranging from the high 70s to the mid 80s and a calm to moderate breeze. Today, Monday, October 9th, we will have a sunny and clear day with a low of 51 degrees in the morning, but we'll warm up to a nice 85 degrees later on. There will be a moderate breeze of 13 miles per hour coming from the north direction, but will decrease to 10 miles per hour from between the north west, west direction later on at night. Tomorrow we will have a partly cloudy day with a low of 51 degrees and a high of 79 degrees. Wednesday we will have another partly cloudy day with a low of 51 degrees and a high of 78 degrees. Thursday we will return to a sunny day with again a low of 51 degrees and a high of 78 degrees. Friday, we will have a sunny day with a low of 51 degrees and a high of 79 degrees. Saturday, we're going to warm up a bit and have a sunny and clear day with a low of 51 degrees and a cooler high of 80, 80 degrees. In the beginning of next week, we will have a sunny and clear day with a low of 52 degrees and a high of 79 degrees. Recently, Hurricane Harvey and Irma have been the headline topic in the news. Hurricane Harvey struck the mid-Texas coast on August 25th and rose to become a Category 3 hur hurricane by August 26, 18 o'clock Universal Time Coordinated. This devastating hurricane made a total of three landfalls and flooded over six million Texans with over 30 inches of water. 30,000 people had to evacuate and seek refuge in local shelters and a total of 83 fatalities were confirmed. Just five days later, the Hurricane Irma hit Florida and remained a Category 5 hurricane for three days. Irma also sustained a 185 miles per hour wind for over 24 hours, which set a record length of time for a hurricane in the Atlantic. Tampa, the Gulf Ports, and other parts of South Florida, including the Florida Keys, received the worst effects of this hurricane. There were a total of 102 fatalities confirmed. As the effects of these devastating hurricanes continue, Texas and Florida need as much support from fellow Americans such as you and I. You can personally make a difference in these hurricane victim lives by donating to trustful organizations. Here at Rodriguez, Senior Avenue Apothea is selling buttons for a dollar to support the Hurricane Harvey. So if you would like to help make a difference to those affected by Hurricane Harvey, you could pick up a button from her at lunch in room E204. Hi, I'm Madison Gray, your host for Rod Culture. What is Rod Culture, you may ask? 
Well, our student body is a diverse one, and we have a variety of classes that encourage us to be the best individuals, leaders, and teams that we can possibly be. Rob Culture covers the student life and the student struggle. If you are an RHS student right here, right now, you might already know about the progress reports that came out not too long ago. Your parents were either thrilled, indifferent, or very, very disappointed. It's a hard knock life, especially with volunteer hours, schoolwork, homework, jobs, friends, family, eating, breathing. Don't remind us, Madison. You might see an AP student floating above it all, seemingly sane. So how do they do it, you may ask? What is your name and grade? Uh, my name's Owen Grimes. I'm an 11th grader. I'm Layla, and I'm in 10th grade. Um, my name is Daphne Woods. I'm, in, I'm a junior. My name is Noah, and I'm in the 11th grade. How many AP classes do you take, if any? Uh, right now, I guess I'm taking, I guess I'm in three AP classes. AP, uh, I have one AP class. It's AP Euro. I take one AP class, uh, AP Language. I don't really take AP classes, though I'm probably going to do some next year. How many hours do you spend on homework a night? Uh, I guess I spend like three, three hours after school on homework. I think I have about three hours of homework. I do about maybe two hours of homework every night. I spend maybe like two hours of homework. Do you play any sports? I'm not playing any sports right now, but I do plan to play golf. I do cross country. I play soccer. Uh, I don't really do sports. What is your motto with school? Uh, my motto with school is just get it done. But motto with school, I would say definitely do your work or you're dead. My motto is work hard, play hard. Be respectful and uh, do your own work. So there you have it. If you're my freshman watching, I know what you're thinking. This doesn't apply to me. I'm like 14 or 15 or 13 or, or 16. We're inclusive here at KROD. Anyhow, what's important to remember is that yes, you may have just started high school, but that doesn't mean it's too soon to start looking forward to your future. Believe me, your 16, 17 year old self will thank you when the application season comes around. For all you know, you might become that upperclassman that seems to just be floating above it all. Freshman year may not be relevant to most colleges, but your choices made now will greatly affect your road to success. But if you don't know that, now you know.